Citrix VDI in a box running inside a VMware Workstation 8 has become one of the more popular blog posts on virtualizedgeek.com. So I thought I'd create this instructional video which quickly walks us through uh, the actual lab. As you see in VMware Workstation, I created a ESXi server which is basically the only server you need to create within VMware to get VDI in a box up and running. VDI Manager does not require a 64-bit OS, so uh, AMD V or Intel uh, VT is not required to run uh, this lab, so you should be fine. My system has 16 gig of RAM, which is quite a bit of RAM for a laptop, but this lab should be able to be run on a system with as little as 8 gig of RAM. I'll show you the settings for this ESXi server. Uh, I chose to have 4 gigabytes of RAM for this server and 4 CPUs. Uh, 4 CPUs turned out to probably be a little bit overkill for the lab, but I left it the same. So we'll power up this ESXi server. Now the ESXi server is finished powering up. We'll go ahead and launch our vSphere client so we can connect to the ESXi server. I bridged the, if you noticed in the settings of the ESXi server, I bridged the network so my virtual host is available uh, on my physical network. So if I wanted to run a VDI client on another physical machine that's capable of doing that. So we'll go ahead and so as you see I've used the eval version of VMware and that's working out pretty well for us. So I've run this lab a couple of times so as you can see VDI, the VDI manager which is this virtual machine here has already created a few VDI hosts uh, approximately three I used the Windows XP image uh, to keep things pretty simple. Uh, the base image, this is our base image, and if you can take a look at the settings of this virtual machine. Uh, the VH image has a gig of RAM, a single CPU, and has the VDI client installed on it. Once that's installed, VDI manager will go ahead and re-image the machine and provide a template for new virtual machines when requested by the guest. As you can see, however, that when it creates it, it customizes the environment for your VDI uh, guest. I went ahead of and selected 512 megabytes of RAM versus a gig which again, for a lab located on just uh, a machine with 16 gig of RAM or eight gig of RAM, whichever you choose to run this on, uh, you want your VDI guess as light as possible, which is one of the reasons I chose XP. XP runs fairly decently for with uh, only 512 meg of RAM. So let's go ahead and boot up the VDI manager. Let's power that machine on. The VDI Manager is a OVA appliance, so when you take a look at its physical resources, it's a gig of RAM. There is no VMware tools installed on it, so it will use the whole gigabyte of RAM uh, on your physical machine. So your ESXi host, when you uh, look at your summary for utilization for your actual ESXi host, you'll see that that machine, once it's boot, booted up, will consume the whole gigabyte of RAM. So you can see we're already at 8 gig of RAM for uh, the current running resources. Once you log into the portal, the VDI section will launch. 
I'll accept our little security code here. Take a quick look at the specs for our virtual machine. And as you can see, this virtual machine has the quad core, the my i7 processor represented with 512 mega RAM and the networking. We're on the same physical host or physical network as our VDI manager and our ESX server. So I should be able to ping the VDI manager, which is at the dot .125 IP, and I'm successfully able to ping it. I could get out to the internet, life is good, VDI in a box. For a detailed uh, description of this lab, you can go to virtualizedgeek.com and uh, search for the VDI tag and you'll find this lab. Thanks and have a great day.